talking to Rick Hazelquist down at, uh, at the big event in Wally for Northwest Wisconsin. Rick, big event uh, getting underway this morning. It's underway now. A lot of people out there on the lake will take some pictures of that too. We've got a lot of prize drawings, a lot of stuff coming up, right? Yeah, lots and lots of people have been here, got here early this morning. Some of the people arrived at 6.30 and started, got out on the ice, got all kinds of tickets, got all kinds of great prizes from Scope and many of the area businesses uh, here in town. And uh, everybody's real excited to see, get going with the grand prize drawings and get those fish out on the ice. You bet. Well, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of prizes here. Look at some of the grand prizes over here. They got the fish shacks and shelters and you got a big raffle drawings. I, I go back in over here at the table. This is all kids' prizes here you were talking about, right? Yeah, yep. You got a bunch of kids' prizes, and then we've got a whole table full of raffle prizes. And the raffles, uh, big boards, they haven't put the raffles up on. A lot of raffles, that's where you guys generate a lot of your funds from. Yeah, and what's really nice about our raffle event and with the, with the things for the grand prizes, we don't have just one prize or two prizes or five. We have hundreds of prizes that get a chance. There's a big chance of winning something. Well, and most people come down here win something, I know. Yeah, that's what I said. It's, it's nice to go home with a prize, whether it's a fishing shack or a fishing rod or a nice stuffed animal for the boys and girls that come out. Uh, it, that makes it exciting yeah. for everyone. And you're winning a prize and you're also donating to put fish back in our lakes and things that yep. make our wildlife That's, that's what better. I said. Having a good day, having a hot dog or a barbecue, putting some fish in the lake, talking yeah. fishing and talking about the outdoors, it makes for a great day. Well, thanks a lot. I'm going to kind of take a few video as we go around here and look at when some of more fish start coming in. We'll get some kids with fish and a lot of things here. Oh, yeah. Thank you for everybody for coming out. So we appreciate it. You got a nice reward in here, right? Perfect. All right, well, thank you. Oh, you know what? You're on Fox it. TV. Oh, you're all set there. Mix it. Say hi. Yeah. hi. Oh, right there. That's Say outdoors. hi. It's Fox, Fox Outdoors. You guys having fun down here? No, absolutely. SPS Outdoors are here, fishing, catching some crappies, catching some red swans. Can't wait till so, we'll be out there. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. There's a familiar face. How are you doing? Oh, Pretty good. Okay. Big raffle, for, for the big raffle prize is here. Well, it's nice. People come and get a chance to warm up a little bit if they've been outside with their kids or out on the ice. Uh, bring, they bring a barbecue or a hot dog in here, and it's a good break uh, good time for them just to take a little break from the fishing event for the day. But it's a nice day today. We had we we pulled some good yeah. weather actually. Uh, we're excited about the weather. Uh, in the past, some days it's been cold, but Wisconsin and ice fishermen are used to the cold, and all they do is you see a little bit more hoods and thicker mittens when the weather gets yeah, a little colder. Yeah, when you get older, it gets a little harder. Yeah, yeah. today, hey, today you're seeing bare hands and bare heads out there. Today they're they're feeling pretty warm out there, yeah, sunshine. Compared to the last two or three weeks. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. So, a great day. There's a couple more of the guys that put a lot of time in work making this event work. <laughs> Mr. Kaner. Good to see you. Yeah. A lot of, I'll tell you what, you guys do a great job on this thing. You know, it's uh, it's just awesome to see all the kids coming out here and having so much fun, so many families, and sun's coming out now, John. It's a pretty good day to be out here. Well, I know that you guys, uh, you know, we got you got WRLS and, and we got the, the media and Hayward and Super, the clubs. The business of like, you know, Hayward Power Sports and Hayward Bait and Tackle, Bait and Bottle, you know, without them guys, uh, these events wouldn't happen, you know. Well, you know, there's so many volunteers, but when you look at all the donations, it, it comes from so many businesses, not only from Hayward, but even outside the area that continue to donate. And, Hard to have events without volunteers and donations. Yeah, you bet, you know, and like I said, but the ones I was mentioning are ones that do a lot of the organization oh, and work yeah. behind it. You yeah, know? absolutely. Like so many people donate to this in the area and, and all of the events in Hayward. That's the amazing thing about Hayward. It's truly amazing. I know uh, Michelle goes out and gets a lot of the donations and she has over 80 different gift certificates from businesses in the area that donated. I mean, that's, that's unheard of. 
Well, let's hope that somebody catches a real whopper out there today. You know what? I've been hearing some good reports. A lot of people are catching fish, and that's that's always good. Best thing about this contest, whether it's that big or that big, you all got a chance to win the great prizes because it's not based on the biggest fish. I just got somebody came in with about a three-inch perch, and I was looking down in the bucket with the camera on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are having fun. You bet. That's the biggest thing. I'm down here at 2018 Wally for Northwest Wisconsin Ice Fishing Contest, the family ice fishing day, hook and line ice fishing event. And uh, it's a big, big turnout, nice weather today. So you can have a lot of people out there, you got a big cluster of people up there, and we're looking up the lake. And then back over in here is another cluster, you know, that's coming in on the other end of the lake. I saw a bunch of them out there. So there's a lot of people out there right now. And uh, I expect there's going to be a lot of them coming in as the event and wraps up closer to 2 o'clock here right now. What's that? You wouldn't happen to know where you're at. That'll count. Oh. Oh. Whoa, look at the size of that crappie. Oh, boy! Nice <laughs> yeah. What's that one? It's a little small. That's uh, uh, is that 14, 12, just 12. over 12 and a half. Really? Just over oh, 12 and a half, yeah. Really thick. Oh, that's that's a good looking crappie. Where's the hole? Shoot, we only got four of these. Yep. Oh, we only have four, huh? Yeah. I thought we had more. I thought we had five, but... I we're out at the uh, Wallace for Northwest Wisconsin Ice Fishing Family event, and uh, one of the guys here that's exhibiting products got some prizes in that actually did he donate for the club? Uh, James Sullivan and James, yeah, you got a very unique product. You come up from down in the Alton area. You got a kind of a neat product here. I'm looking down at the table here, and uh, man, you got uh, tip ups or tip downs, and you got actually got a motorized one that uh, actually does the jigging for you and stuff, right? Yeah, I do. I, I came up with the invention uh, like 2009. I came up with the powered one first, actually, and I, I wanted something that would jig a line, and I had bought something that was supposed to do that, and it failed on me multiple times on the ice, so I came back home and took the thing and on my vise and smashed it open and found a motor inside. And I started trying to make one on my own. So well, you can actually use this summer and winter too. It's not just for ice fishing. Oh yeah, I, I use it on the side of my pontoon, the powered one. The the powered one has rod security that you can do that. Uh, you got to. It, it's okay for drifting in that. This one you cannot. Right, but the, for the, but, but for the, for the ice powered fishing, one, the powered you, one yeah. you, you can use on the boat also. You know, and you know, I know you've got those for sale at Hayward Bait and Bottle. I one of one of my sponsors. Yeah, they, they are uh, they're currently out right now. I was in there this morning and getting bait and checking, so that's good news because they've been selling. So that's uh, that, I'm I'm happy to see that they're selling out. Interesting product. Uh, we get them right here locally, and uh, you can find them. You got a website too on this stuff. Yeah, SullivanTipDown.com, and uh, there's I have all sorts of products on there, and the, the, the tip down has got two speeds. So right now. That was on the faster speed, here's the slower speed. This lever here changes the amount of stroke. So if I move this lever up, it changes the back of the stroke. So it will do less of the stroke every time around. And when it's on that slow speed, you can wow. just do a really small tap for perch and just keep that bait moving every once in a while. And then you got a faster speed and then like if you're you just want a lot of flash right above the weeds for pike. You set this thing up like this, and when the fish hits, what happens is the tip goes down, the rod drops. This is a short rod, so it's not long enough for right. going to the hole, but the flag goes up. Now the flag, this one's got an optional flag on it. It's got a light on it. Right. So uh, the other cool thing about that is you can tilt it forward. Let's see here. Well, it's not Maybe I grabbed the wrong flag without a battery in it. Sorry, but that lights up every time. You got lighted. You got lighted, lighted option. Right? Yeah, lighted option, and the, and the, and then on the tip drop, these are adjustable, so you can set the sensitivity however you want for the wind or what bait you're using or whatever. And when the fish hits. The slides flag goes down, up. Yep. And the slides flag drops, the flag goes up. And you got rod security on here in the winter. Don't try it on your boat. It will <laughs> no. not work on your boat. 
Was my friend good? Jake still cries about the rod he lost on there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great, great idea and some good ideas there. And this is the Sullivan tip drop. This is the Sullivan tip down. And the drops come in four different colors yeah. for, you know, just a little more fun. There's actually teams on Facebook with the different colors where they, they uh, talk smack about each other and, you know, brag about what they caught today and team green and team purple. So. A lot well, just of a fun good idea, I think, in the summertime too, because you could run a second rod without oh, having yeah. to tie up your other hand. Yes, yeah, yeah on, on, a, on the powered one. Yep, you make bet. sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us. All right, John. Thank you. <laughs> good job. Who caught good. that? Yeah. He caught that. Yeah. You had fun out there today. Yeah. You did. Nice warm day too, ain't it? Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Nice perch. About seven and a. I guess I'm the old rough area. Well, we did find a walleye or two. Uh, Who got that? Uh, I got right up in there. Mm -hmm. The free boat. Yeah. Uh, deeper water, did you get that one out of? Um, that was like uh, 12 feet, actually. 12 feet? That was pretty shallow. Yeah, not yeah, uh, bad. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Kyle. Bring in some fish. You see, be a little slimy. <laughs> Here, you want me to get them all for you, Austin? Oh yeah. Oh, this is a tail grab. Nice bike. There you go. Yep. Well, that one's got a belly on him. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're just helping. How long is it? Twenty-eight and a half. But for that size of fish, it's had an awful big belly. Probably because he had a bunch of those in them. Yeah. Probably. Put this fish in a lot near us. That will make it? Yeah. That's a lot of fun for me. Wow. That's a nice walleye. The biggest panfish I ever got. How deep? <laughs> it was about six foot six foot of water. Six foot? That's shallow. A, yeah. a bright day like today, that's wow. kind of surprising. Actually, it was still cloudy. It was still cloudy? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was about no. 9 o'clock. <laughs> what, what did you get? Uh, just jigging a minnow? Jigging a minnow for panfish, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> panfish. Yeah, you fish for panfish. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a, a great thing. Yeah, you enjoying the day out here? Oh, yeah. It's a great event. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Mike. Name of that one. Got some big ones there. <laughs> Who caught, who caught all the fish? Yeah. Uh, so you have three registerable fish. Three. Yeah. You just put them in the bucket and then. Who caught all those fish? Um, not us. Not you guys? No, or my dad, actually. Oh, yeah? I didn't catch anything. You ever caught out here today, though? Yeah. Ah, uh, you caught it. Standard. What? 
you oh, got they it. Yeah, a, they give you much of a fight. What? They give you a big fight. <laughs> <laughs> Took two hours to get in. Huh? <laughs> Where's Wayne? Hey, John. Oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, how's things going today? Things are going great. We got a lot of families bringing in, uh, taking a lot of kids out fishing. A lot of family groups coming in. Um, we had a lot of fish so far. Good. good. We had a youngster with a 29 and 7 8 inch uh, northern. The biggest fish I registered. I think there was a bigger one over here with the adults. But so now pretty cool. I'll come back here when you get more fish coming in. Oh, wait. I think they're using grubs. Oh, it's a Dropped it on the ground. You gotta get it up. Hold you, it up. you caught that fish? Yeah. You did. Did you have fun out here today? Yeah. No, you had a lot of fun? You yeah. bet. Just what getting in the outdoors. Good what? thing. Good job. Yeah, just get it. That's a nice bird. Yep. All right. I just uh, go in there when you go in there. Just let them know your wristband number and you okay. leave the fish outside the tent. Oh, we're here. Oh, you can put my other side. Okay. Oh, just by the tip of the tail. Ooh, just short. Really? So it's okay. Not quite 25. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go in. You thought it was 25. Oh. Yeah, you can stretch them. Couldn't quite stretch them enough. Oh, you can't stretch them? <laughs> I think you can try. I don't think you can get 25. No. Oh, but 25 is that line. You yeah. little so fart. Oh. <laughs> oh. There, there we go. Think I'm pretty, pretty sure that's the same. Yeah, oil. Small as one Z. Okay. You're going all over them. Take a look at them. Oh, yeah. Oh. What do we got in there? Oh, oh, my God. Who caught that? Just one. You guys have fun out there today? Yeah. You did? We got some bluegills here. Oh, that's what I got to go to. Slimy. You want me to help you? Do you mind picking them up? Okay, that one's good. Thanks for moving over. Yep, that one's good. Oh, yeah. The northern on here. The northern on here. Yep, that one's good. Nice, huh? 27. They didn't classify, but. Oh, we got a poor kid at this. <laughs> Make sure you know the species and how many of them are. There's a bike. That's 32. That's a good one right there. Got a belly on it too. Yeah, 32 and a half there. That's pretty good. Oh, and then it doesn't matter how much fish is if you want to go how long it will be there. Wait a minute. Giant bird here too. Okay, good. Good. Well, oh, I missed that one. You want to know? Yeah, I want to know. I'll probably like short. Okay, guys. Okay. Um. Have your fish checked yeah, you if they're right adults. Uh, you see, Scotty, I need a second on the children on the children and youth line. Hey, are you seven. Okay. I swear. They don't have only got one. It's the one adult? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the A lot of people lining up here. Thank you. Uh, get close to the Yep. Lighting up to get the fish. Second, you got two fishes? Uh huh. Wow, who caught them? Well, it's the bigger one is the, my dad's, and the littler no, one is my brother's. You have a fun out here today? <laughs> well, I will. Dad cuts the one for me, and James, the little one, that he cuts it by himself. Well, I yeah, hope you had a good day out here. Have fun. That's a good job. Uh -huh. What's that puppy thing? <laughs> oh, that's called a dead cat. Oh, look at those pike. 
You'll get more people than we do. Why not? Well, I don't want to. We got Tom Leahy, fishing guy. <laughs> Tom, you down here? Uh, everybody's down here to the van, it looks like. That's right. Uh, did you get a chance to get out there? Or? Yeah, we went, uh, did a little northern fishing, but it was a little slower today. Yeah, it's, so. it's been kind of up and down all winter, but the big thing is this is a big event, and this is a fantastic thing that raises money for stock and fish. It's actually made a huge difference on some lakes, like Nelson Lake has, and just the amount of fish they put in. Yeah, Nelson. Some of the fish are getting bigger out there the too. Chips too. The chips yep. is, yeah, and the so, flow. You know, and a lot of that too, the walleye for northwest Wisconsin. And yep. you know, they started they were on the first ones in the whole state that were doing that extended growth stock. And yep. A lot of that money comes from this event, that most of it comes from here. So, exactly. I no, it's a fun event. Yep. You gotta get out. And you're looking forward to open water like I, I am. I <laughs> am. As old yeah. guys, kid, uh, we got to be out of water, man. <laughs> Frozen water don't count. Yep. yep. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming on here. Thanks, John. Um, I also want to bring something else up. Um, there's been a guy here longer than I've been here um, that has really given a lot to this organization. Um, he's been a real good partner. For Walleyes for Northwest Wisconsin, and that person is our MC here, Steve Kaner. I'd like to give him a plaque for appreciation for all of his years of service. Thank you. With that, I'm going to let Steve take over, and he's going to start doing the gifts and handing it over to the honorees and plaques. I know there's a family that's been involved out here for a long time, and the Crushmers wanted to say a special thanks to Bob Schuster. A lot of behind the scenes. You know, everybody takes their tasks that they do to put on this event, and Bob has been in the tackle and fishing industry for so long. And I'm going to tell you one of the things that he does that I love about him is he guilts these representatives to support this and that's why we get these prizes when i say a guy turns the screws to someone that's that guy right and that's why we get some of these great prizes and what he does actually supports the club in a way that allows the club to put more fish back into the lake but the crushmers wanted to say a special thanks to you mr bob schuster for doing that and helping out to make sure that the kids have a chance to do this okay i do appreciate the club honoring me. It was a volunteer and I continue to volunteer and will continue to volunteer. As long as you people keep showing up, I'm going to keep being up here in front of all of you, especially on days like today. <laughs> all right, we're going to recognize some other people that have been supporters of the club and businesses that have been supporters of the club. and these next two individuals i'm actually going to bring them up together because they're part of an organization that has supported this for a long time but if i could have dj aderman and chris one row come up here to the front we'd like to recognize both of you on behalf of your individual support being out here for the number of years and you're looking at the president and vice president of sawyer county outdoor projects and education another great youth-based organization so thank you Chris, DJ, for all that you do for supporting this great event and joining us out here today. All right, and another person that's been out here for a number of years helping us, part of our security team out here, Casey Stangle. Are you here, Casey? Where's Casey? I know he's been out. There he is. Come on up here, Casey. It's hard not to see this guy because he's probably the tallest guy here at least according to my view one of the tallest guys here when he gets up here we'll thank him for all of his help come on up Casey he's big but he's a soft-spoken guy that's what I know about him thank you very much Casey for coming out whether it's 30 below 30 above or 30 below you'll find him right out front greeting you when you come into the event
We also want to thank Mike Smith. He's been helping us in our fish registration area. He may be busy down there right now. That's my guess. Usually about this time, they're buried. But we want to thank Mike for all of his support. Give him a round of applause as well. We'll make sure that these people get these. Now this is going to be one of those weird things because Bob said, well, I don't want you to accept your own award. And this is going to go to WRLS Radio. And I said, I am not WRLS Radio. That is just the business that I own and manage. I have a great staff of people that work up there between Tom Stocker and Gary Hessel and Scott Clone and all of my staff, my office manager, Nancy. They all make up what WRLS is. So on behalf of all of them, I will accept this this award for them and thank you because it's all of them that make WRLS what it is. You'll notice on a number of the trailers, the generators, the tents, the tables, there's one business that stands out a lot and boy do they support us with a lot of in-kind stuff. We want to thank M&M Rental for all that they do because they provide us with a lot. Come on up here, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Not only Michelle representing M&M Rental, but she is a hound. And when she goes out there and talks to the businesses and gets hundreds of donations for this great event. We also want to thank Hayward Bait and Bottle for their support because they have been a big backer of this event. There are so many behind the scenes things. Joe, I'm gonna give that to you. You can give that to Bob on behalf, but he also knows that he is not Hayward Bait and Bottle. Terry Hogan, we appreciate all of his support. He can't be out here today with us, but all the staff down there and everything that they do to help, Bob, Terry, all of you guys down there, thank you very much on behalf of us. We want to also recognize Retreat Home Furniture. They have been supporting in many, many years. For a number of years, they provided all of the youth entries and also all of the youth prizes. For about the last 10 years, they did that. We want to thank them. And then this year, we want to thank Nelson Lumber and Florida Ceiling for stepping up and covering all the tip-ups the kids got this year. But Retreat Home Furniture, longtime sponsor, and they will continue to sponsor this great event. And we also want to thank Mr. Bob Reinhardt. Bob, we got to thank you too. He's out here all the time. I think Bob's been out here every year that I've been out here, and I've been here 15 years in a row. So it is a pleasure. And you know, so many of these great events don't happen without volunteers, and all these people volunteer. The whole organization is volunteer-based. Bob, thank you very much on behalf of Walleyes for Northwest Wisconsin. All right, we're also going to recognize a couple of members from Walleyes for Northwest Wisconsin for everything that done they've done taking this organization to the next chapter. We want to thank the current secretary, Mr. Rick Hasselquist. Rick, come on up here. <laughs> thank you very much for all your organization. That the secretary position all day he's been saying, write that down, write that down, write that down. I say, you're the secretary, you write it down. But he's really good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say one thing he's been telling me all day. We have some comment forms and we'd love to hear from you, good or bad. Give us some suggestions, things we can do to make this event better for you. Not for us, better for you. If there's things you'd like to see us change, Rick wants to know about it and he'll address it with the club. Rick, thanks for all you do. Thanks for coming. And then we also want to recognize our current president, once again, Mr. Joe Genrick. It's not easy to carry that title. He said he didn't sleep all night. He said he just, man, I was just nervous. And I said, what about? There's so many people helping. He said, that's just me. And then I thought, well, he does have to work with Bob Schuster, and that would make anybody sleepless at night. Joe, thanks on our behalf. Thanks you for doing everything you've done. Now there are many, many more people 
that just work and volunteer. But on our behalf, we'd also like to honor all of you. Thank you for coming out in 2018 and supporting this great event. All right, now what we need to do is start giving away some of our prizes. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give away our 50-50 raffle, then we're gonna wrap up all of our rip tickets. We're gonna give away a sled of booze, which is also very popular. It's been a great event this year. We've had a lot, real good turnout. The weather's been great. You know, it's just unbelievable. The kids getting prizes. Um, a lot of fish brought in. I was down there filming a lot of fish. I could not believe that. And the smiles on the faces of the kids it really made my day. You bet. You know, I want to thank you guys. Don't tell me that. Oh, oh, that. Oh, yeah, somebody said you can still get in. Hope it continues. And I hope you keep continuing to come and help us with this event. John, you're, you're just as important to this event as we are. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you had a good time. All right. Who caught fish? Oh, holy cow. All right, better yet, who caught little perch? Right, there we go. Hi, <laughs> John. Hey, we got another one of the Hayward fishing guys here. Hey. Are you out fishing today or just Yeah, here? we did a little bit of fishing. We didn't have much luck today, but what an awesome, beautiful day to be with a lot of friends, a lot of people looking to do the same thing. Raise some money. Let's get some more walleyes in our waters here in Hayward. Well, Dan Palmer, and you, uh, you've been you've been up here for a while now, but you just got to set up the fishing guide, dude, and you're on the tavern up here too. Yeah, we got the Twin Lakes tap. Dan Palmer's guide service, uh, mainly on Round Lake fishing, create, chasing those smallmouth. But uh, I love walleye fishing, and we need to help support these groups. Um, they do a lot of stuff for the kids between. Uh, the Walleyes for Northwest Wisconsin, the Scope Organization, the Hayward community is fantastic at supporting these things with kids and just our local community, uh, all our lakes. The Hayward area lakes, you can't beat it. Lots of friendship, camaraderie. Come check out Hayward. You bet. Well, we're going to have to, you know, it'll be going on for a while here, giving out prizes, but uh, we're going to wrap it up as far as the filming here.